Today, I'm going to be showing you guys all a whole bunch of brand new Finest at Freddy's merch, including action figures, plushies, ranging from a whole bunch of different companies like Funko, Hex, even U2s. We have a whole bunch of different merch to show you. So without further ado, let's go hop into this video and show you guys all the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's merch. So kicking it all off is the new merch that actually been revealed today. It's actually the brand new line for the Christmas action figure. And thanks to Scarlet Joker and Johnny Blocks for, you know, half the new stars for getting all these images, so mainly thanks to them. Now without further ado, let's go and actually look at these. These are the brand new lineup. We got four action figures with one exclusive, but that'll be showing you guys a little bit later on. And as you guys can see here, this is all four of them. The first one we got here now is Santa Freddy. It's just Freddy, but with a red nose and a little bit of red ears. Looks like he has some red cheeks there, which is a Santa outfit, which is pretty cool and he's not exclusive. Then we got one of the favorites, in my opinion, of all these is Snow Chica. It's like a snowman, but it's a chica, and I love the cool eyes, the melting snow details. Funko put a lot of details and effort into these, like, what, custom characters? All I gotta say is that it looks amazing, but who knows? Might come up from FNAF AR, but they didn't market it as that, so I bet these are some custom Funko characters. Then we gotta help you Elf Bonnie, which looks pretty cool. I like the Elf Bonnie. Look at it. He, he has a retachable candy cane, which a hat is, like, all green. It looks amazing, even, like, little... Uh, elf shoes. It's just an amazing love Bonnie. Then we got ourselves here gingerbread Foxy, which is also cool and unique. I love how each one of them is just not all Santa versions and all different and unique. I love how this looks good. Like these are some cool recolors. Look at this. It's gingerbread Foxy. We all love Foxy and gingerbreads and his hook is replaced with the candy cane. Replaced with the candy cane. And then for the last one, sorry for the blurry and bad quality image. It's really hard to get a good quality image of this. It's the Nutcracker. It's an exclusive action figure, which is most likely going to be a only at Walmart exclusive. As you guys can see, it's Nutcracker Foxy. And yeah, he looks pretty silly, but I got to say, it's a cool... It's a cool version, I gotta say. They put lots of detail into this, and I really do like it. And alongside the action figures, we also have some brand new Funko Pops. Also, sorry for the quality not being the highest either. We got Santa, Freddy, Elf, Bonnie, Snow, Chica, and Gingerbread Foxy, just like the action figures, but just in Funko Pop. And this is how all of them look. They look really amazing. I do like them, and they look almost exactly like the action figures, and Funko has really been outdoing themselves this time. And also, just a heads up in my last news video, we talked about the brand new Sun and Moon Hot Topic exclusive uh, Funko Pop, and now, that are popping up in stores. So you can go and get them in Hot Topic, FYE, any store like that. So you can now get the new Sun and Moon exclusive Funko Pop. And while we're still on the topic of Funko, we got the advent calendar that's been recently revealed. Also, for the time of Christmas, having over 24 mini little Funko Pops. There's like Pocket Pops, or like, yes, they call them Pocket Pops. And there's 24 different and unique ones to get. As you guys can see, some of them are not as unique. As you can see, we get Ballora here, it's just a regular character. And also, like a Snow Foxy, we got Freddy tangled up in the... Uh, the lights. We also got ourselves here, Bonnie, like a Christmas tree. And if you look at here, we got uh, two more, like Candy Cane Foxy. Also, you got Chica with a Christmas hat. These are going to be some really cool figures, but so far, this is all the images we have. And with more Funko news, we got a brand new Hot Topic exclusive Sun and Moon Funko plush. It's not Eclipse. They don't market it as Eclipse, as you probably might think. It's just a combination of both of them. They look really cool and are a Hot Topic exclusive. You could go into some stores right now and actually find them, which is actually really good. But, of course, they kind of messed it up because the moon side is not supposed to be gray. It's supposed to be black. And they made it, I guess, gray for some reason. Also, the outline, outline in Moon's uh, Sun's eyes is actually supposed to be golden, but they made it white. They are changing some things up, but I gotta say, it's still a great plush, only if it, you know, had those two little details, it would have been better. And this is the back side and the other side of the Sun and Moon. And also, thanks to Scarlet Joker, we got ourselves self here of reliable leaks that we're going to be getting Final Set Freddy's Ruined Merchandise in 2024. The character will be a common wave with three different lines. I mean, it says here four characters in the common wave and three different lines. You know what that means? We're going to be getting three different lineups of characters, meaning like I guess four times three. Maybe you might get some exclusive or maybe some buildable characters, but we're definitely getting action figures based off the Ruined DLC. Who knows, they might start redoing original characters in Security Breach. All I know is that this is going to be an amazing lineup, so don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned the minute we get images on them. Also, for that last bit of Funko news, we'll be having a brand new Funko game called Finds of Freddy Survive Till 6am. It's a card game that has one to two players, and of course for a plus, and this is the box art, it's just a little puzzle game. But now moving on to Hex news, we got ourselves here a new updated look at the puppet, and also a first look at Mangle, and I gotta say, 
this is what Hex shines at. I did not like the original look of the puppet when they first released it in my, my first FNAF news video for merch, but now it looks amazing. I love the embroidery. I love the uh, fluffy cheeks now, and also has a, a tactile magnet present, and the whole limbs are uh, bendable, which I'll show a little bit later on. You can see the stitching. Everything looks amazing. This puppet also is pretty big in hand when he showed it, and Mangle over here looks amazing. I hope Mangle's still going to be $50. I hope they don't make Mangle more because of how detailed it is. As you guys can see, Mangle, you're able to bend, swap, and mold. It's like a swap mold and bendable. It looks amazing. Mangle and the puppet, they're both great. As you guys can see, the puppet is bendable. And right next to that, you can even see the first look at the brand new Withered Bonnie plush. Because Withered Bonnie has to have a plush. She's amazing. And as you can see, this is the prototypes. If you're wondering, all these are still prototypes. They look really great. I cannot way to get these. And for the last bit of Hex news, we got ourselves a new sittable, uh, what's going on? Fredbear and, and Spring Bonnie. I think it's uh, Fredbear and Spring Bonnie plushes as sittables. They look really cool. I cannot wait to get these. I probably might stick with just Mangle and the puppet maybe and Withered Bonnie. I might stick with all three of them, but these look pretty cool still. But now we're switching on to U2s and we got to first look at all the new Fluff Funko. I mean, U2s, not Funko Pops. They're U2s. And also we did not get a front review of Foxy yet, but we did see him in our last news video. But we did get to get a first look at the fluffy Chica, Bonnie, and Freddy, which is theorized to be for the finest of Freddy's movie. And that these are gonna be themed around it to make them look like the movie because they're fluffy. And I gotta say, they look amazing. I want to get them. They better be exclusive too. These dudes look amazing when they're fluffy. Also, thanks to Johnny Blocks, uh, one of the actual uh, U2's like developers has confirmed that the Withered figures have been delayed from this summer to next year. But do not fear because the help wanted wave of the figures featuring Judd Bear, Grim Foxy, Glitchtrap, and Shadow Mangle, Mangle is still prepared or is still planned to release later this year. He also confirmed Ruin merch is in in the works. So yeah, we're getting all a whole bunch of brand new YouTubes. Cannot wait for this. But let's go on to the next theme or the next merch. This not being from any huge theme is from Big Pin Collection. Awesome. Don't know if that's like the brand name. I think it's a slogan. But as you guys can see, they have Fantasy and Freddy's trading cards. There's 12 commons, nine rares, four super rares, one ultra rare, and one hyper rare. You guys can see here it. It's little packets, and I think each packet comes with, I don't know how much. But of course, they have some of the art, the questionable artist is still on there, but we don't really talk about that. We got new Fast and Freddy's trading cards. Let me know if you're going to be planning to get them. And also, we got some more news, like the, I think it's like just toys. I don't know what this one is. You got Fast and Freddy's Security Breach Hangers. It's like little ones based off, you know, Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Frox, <laughs> Glamrock Chica, Glamrock Freddy, Montgomery Gator, Roxanne, and even Vanny. They all look pretty good. Look at them. I'm just kidding. They, they still look like the hangers. But look, you get them all in one set. Also, we're going to get Fines of Freddy's movie, Mega Squish Me. It's like those little Squish Me things. It's glow in the dark Freddy and is based off the movie being pretty cool. Look at that. It's 10 inches tall, too. And we're also getting costumes. This is the whole clothing part of it now. We're getting Freddy, Foxy, Glamrock, Freddy, and Montgomery Gator costumes based off the characters. And I gotta say, they look okay. Nothing too big, nothing too special. They're just okay. We're also gonna be getting two new shirts. One for the little balloon boy, Freddy's. And one for the sun and moon design. It looks pretty weird. Why, why does moon and sun look like that? And also, we'll be getting ourselves here, Glamrock, Chica, socks. So, new clothing. And for the last bit of merch and Hot Topic, they have a new pin and new earrings for exotic butters and the Sotoroni cans from, you know, Fine Freddy's Help Wanted, but they put it as security breach, wonder why. And also, the pins is now for Fine Set Freddy's or Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex logo that also glows in the dark, being a pretty cool pin. You can find these both at Hot Topic. But anyways, guys, that's it for today's Fine Set Freddy's merch news video. Don't forget to watch my other two videos looking at all the other Fine Set Freddy's merch, and don't forget to definitely subscribe and stay tuned for all the upcoming Fine Set Freddy's merchandise. I cannot wait to review some of these and to look at all the new future merch, like the Ruin merchandise. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Good bye.